Hey guys, it's me, Charlie. So I'm doing a video today on my finches here because I've had some requests on doing some finch videos. So what I have here is a breeding pair of English pure white zebra finches. And on the very top, I have a breeding pair of chestnut cheek pure white zebra finches. And normally what I do is I'll put between two and three nest boxes per breeding pair. Oh no, sorry, I'll put two nest boxes Per breeding pair and if they're a really expensive breeding pair like Gouldians I'll put three nest boxes per breeding pair and the reason why is because you want them to choose a nest site because they may not like it here on this side they may not like it on this side and they may not like it anywhere else that you might put the nest boxes so I have one breeding pair breeding in here and I had another one breeding in there but they just made the nest and then they stop so what they decided to do is make a nest in here their food dish so you see what I mean sometimes they just don't want to make nests in the areas that you um, put nest boxes so this English pair that I have down below they're about two years old um, they make beautiful babies but they're not very good parents and um, sometimes they're able to hatch out two babies but they don't take care of them to where they die so I lost two of the babies now the pair up there they actually will produce about let's see 5 10 15 20 about 20 finches um every six months but i just have too many zebra finches of the chestnut cheek type that i just don't breed them anymore but i decided to um give them a try since they haven't bred for about a year and so i got them in here with my english breeding pair which i think what i'll do is i'll probably take out the chestnut cheek after they have one clutch of babies and just keep in this english pair because i really like the english ones i don't have any more of those um the female's nice and large the male's um he's medium and um they're a good bird so these guys it's really important to give them cuddle bone it's also important to give them grit um a mineral um supplement um, definitely use liquid vitamins in their water and um, give them lots of sprouts and grass and dandelions and um, the grit helps them grind up the food in their little tummies the vitamins is a good supplement nutrition in case you do too much seed the sprouts is a good live food for them and it helps keep the birds healthy and also they have nice plumage and then also if you use a little charcoal it's a good way to get rid of any toxins in the body and um, they love that stuff they'll eat charcoal up like it's really out of going out of style now charcoal you could buy only at a pet store I suggest um, I've asked if you can use certain types of charcoals and no one knows the answer but and I've even googled it and I really can't find it so if you find charcoal in a box meant for birds it usually has a picture of a parakeet or a finch on it definitely buy those boxes they don't cost that much um, they range from a dollar ninety nine up to like three twenty nine depending on the store you go to I bought my box for dollar ninety nine a box so I ended up buying about six boxes um, you could never have enough charcoal to go. I would suggest per breeding pair to use like maybe one tablespoon and they'll eat it throughout the day and throughout the week and then probably give it to them um, between two and three times a month so try to do it on a weekend maybe to give yourself a, a good way to remember when to give them that stuff. Um, pellet food is really important because if you can buy a little finch um, pellet food, it has a lot of supplements and vitamins and everything they need in there. So if anybody has any comments or questions, questions on the um, English pair of pure white zebra finches or my chestnut cheek pure white zebra finches, uh, leave a comment below. And don't forget to rate the video and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.